guys, it's Loie. Happy 4th of July to those of you who do live in the United States. I hope you all are having an absolutely amazing Friday no matter where you are in the world right now, unless it's not actually Friday where you live. In which case, I just hope you're having a really good day. Um, I have some favorites here to show you because June is obviously over. Um, we're not even going to talk about how fast this year is going by. It's like repulsive and I seriously cannot wrap my mind around the fact that this year is over halfway done. So I'm just going to show you some of my beauty favorites for the month of June. So let's get real. Um, there really aren't that many beauty favorites. I honestly sat there and I was like, there are so few things that I wore every single freaking day. But I did think I would show you guys some stuff I loved. So I, I don't want to say that this was like a favorites. Um, in the sense that like I was using these things over and over and over and over again, you know, like every single freaking day. However, I did use them frequently for the amount of time that I wear makeup. Does that make sense? I really, I was kind of lazy this month and I was home. I was vegging out. It was a good time. So I am just going to get started. The first thing is this e.l.f. blush palette. When I originally got these, I did a review and I was like, meh, they're okay. They're cool for the price. You know, whatever. If you like them, go for it. Um, I realized that this is the kind of product where like you genuinely just kind of have to get used to it. Does that make sense? Like you just kind of have to learn how it behaves because honestly like you dip your finger into these and it's not like oh my god that's so soft and buttery and blendable but then you get it like on your cheeks with a brush and if you use a light hand and really work on your blending these can be some of the most beautiful like universal colors you have ever seen in your entire life. I've been wearing this shade a lot as well as this really pretty like corally kind of shade and I really have been enjoying this palette. It's about six dollars on the e.l.f. website. They also have like half off deals all the time so it's definitely a fantastic deal no matter what you wind up paying because it's super inexpensive and you get four really really nice blush colors. Well three really nice blush colors and then like a bronzer looking dude so I like it a lot. Speaking of e.l.f., we also have the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. Now this is not something I typically use on camera. This is more or less like I'm doing BB cream, I'm doing like a little bit of eyeliner, mascara, and I pop on this bad guy who doesn't want to stay open for me. It's because it's a very shimmery bronzer and I feel like that doesn't always necessarily translate well when I'm on camera. I like a much more full coverage matte look when I'm on camera. So I typically wear these or wear this on my off days from YouTube, I guess you could say. And I really like it. It's a really, really beautiful shade. Shade. Um, it does have a lot of shimmer, but I just feel like it adds a really natural, beautiful glow to your face. And you can sort of concentrate it in different colors. Like if you want to use this one strictly as a highlight, you can ignore that and just dip your brush in these three, or you can go for the whole thing. It's really up to you. It's very customizable. It's very user friendly. I really, really like it. It's just something I tend to forget about. Um, so yeah, the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer is really, really nice if you want that sort of thing. If you're not a fan of shimmer though, I would kind of steer clear. This was more of an end of the month favorite, but I loved the Rouge Bunny Rouge um, Original Skin Blush in Grisalis. Grisalis? Don't know, I might be butchering it. It will be listed down below if you are interested. It is just a really beautiful neutral pink, and when they sent me some products, I had like no say in what I was getting really. Um, I chose like a foundation color that I thought would work, and then they just kind of sent me colors that they thought would work for my skin, and I saw this and I was like, Mmm, it's not my blush color. I usually go for like the peachy pinks, the corals, the really fun bright shades. So this kind of surprised me by inching its way into like the depths of my heart. Um, it's a really beautiful light pink, but it's neutral and I feel like it really goes with anything. It can be a very neutral light blush. It can be a very kind of in your face blush if you work it up. I really love the like formulation of the Rouge Bunny Rouge blushes as well so soft, so buttery. I will make sure to link it down below if you are interested. The Milani iTech Perfection Eyeliner. I have a review coming on this. Um, seriously, I did not think I was going to like this as much as I did. I seriously didn't. I, I had no idea we were going to begin this love affair and that it was going to be me and Milani iTech Perfection Liquid Eyeliner against the freaking world. It is the blackest liquid eyeliner ever. And it also just, you have a lot of control, I feel like. You really can get a very thin or a very thick black line that just stays freaking put. You guys know I love my liquid eyeliner. Um, seriously, this is one of the best I have ever tried. And I don't want to say it's my favorite because I have serious commitment issues, but I am really, really liking it. This has kind of been in my makeup routine for a while now, I feel like. 
um, but I haven't really mentioned the fact that I'm using two face powders instead of one. I am using the Rimmel Statement Powders, you guys know these are my absolute freaking favorites, but I have it in the colors Creamy Natural as well as Sandstorm. So I like to use Creamy Natural where I highlight on my face, so like between the eyebrows, down the nose, under the eyes, that kind of stuff. And then I will go over um, like on my cheeks, on the outer perimeters of my forehead, that kind of thing, with the color Sandstorm. And I just really think... This is a very subtle way to sort of highlight my face, but also I'm keeping that matte look. Um, it's also providing a little bit of coverage. I love these powders so much, but I've kind of been liking the combination a lot, especially now that I'm getting a little bit tanner, and I don't know, it's just a little bit more dramatic. So I really like it. I don't know if it really translates on camera, but it's one of my favorite things ever, and I've been doing it for a while, I just thought I would mention it. I am so sorry if anything is off or different, I talk too much and I already filled up my memory card, so I had to go and dump some footage. But moving right along in the favorites, I wanted to show you my favorite lip combination. This is something, I swear to you, I have the worst memories and I never go back and watch my videos, and I can't remember whether or not this was in a weekly favorites or a monthly favorites already. But I honestly have been wearing this lip combination so much, I think it's worth rehashing. So it includes the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in the color 903C, which is Just Peachy. And Just Peachy is literally oh, just the prettiest light peach. I love the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipsticks. I feel like everyone already knows about them. But they're super creamy, super pigmented, and they're just really nice for drugstore lipsticks. They're really nice for any lipsticks, honestly. I just, you know, it's really cool. You don't have to pay an arm and a leg for them. And then I have usually been topping it off with Maple Blondie or Apple Strudel from NYX. This is just the one that I've been wearing a little bit more. Um, when I want to, like, have this lipstick a little bit more peachy, I'll do Apple Strudel. When I want to have it a little bit more nude, I'll do Maple Blondie. They're very, very similar. You honestly don't need both. I just bought them both on accident. Maple Blondie is just a really light peachy pink nude and I really love this shade and in conjunction with one another this is just a really pretty lip combination and I've been wearing it a ton. Um, it's just very light and summery. Clearly I am wearing red but if I was not I would be wearing this lip combination. It is absolutely absolutely beautiful um, and it definitely doesn't break the bank so I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for something kind of easy and nude but still really fun for summer. I think I profess my love to the secret um, romantic rose deodorant scent so many freaking times. However, I recently picked up the Secret um, Romantic Rose Body Spray. I just feel like it kind of gives like a little bit more of that rose scent and it just smells so nice. It kind of prolongs the wear of my deodorant too. I'll just kind of spritz it all over and it's just, oh, the smell of this is amazing. You guys seriously need to like go to the drugstore and give this a sniff if you have not already. Um, I'm really loving the Romantic Rose scent. And I think it really like speaks volumes when I like a deodorant scent enough to buy the body spray in it. So highly recommend this. It's really, really cheap too. So uh, you can't beat that. I have two quick nail polish favorites. This is another one of those things where I just cannot remember if I've already mentioned it or not. But the Sally Hansen Insta Dry top coat has completely taken place in my Sasha Vite. I think that the breakup between Sasha Vite and I was like inevitable because... I kept losing my bottle. I would lose it and I would find it like three months later, but I had already tried a new top coat and I would be like, oh my god, there's my Sasha V. And then I would use it, I would lose it, and I swear to you, I would find it in the weirdest places. I, I feel like it grew legs and ran for me. But I like this so much more. I think it really um, prolongs the wear of my nail polish, whereas Sasha V makes it chip so much faster. It does not dry as fast as Sasha V, but I would say it dries in a comparably fast way. Um, within about 30 minutes, I'm good to go. And I think that that's about as good as it gets. Like when I say good to go, I mean, I can like bang my nails against things and they aren't going to like dent that kind of thing. So I've really been loving this. And then I have worn this color so much this month. When I first really started getting into nail polish, which was about two years ago, I really had never been into it before that. I collected every single kind of this variation of blue that I possibly could and I had so many favorites. This is like my power color and I absolutely love China Glaze Frostbite for this time of year because I think it has um, just the coolest shimmer to it and it looks so beautiful on the nails. It is on my middle finger right now. I really, really love this color. I think that it wears really nicely. China Glaze is a great company. I own a lot of nail polish from them, and this is just one of my favorite shades. Seriously, like, 
my end all be all nail polish if I could only own like a few colors and this could be like the only bright color I could own it would be this. This Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Blow Dry Perfector Straightening Balm is a product I have literally repurchased so many times and I feel like I just don't talk about it enough. This is what gets my hair to a state where I am not like an utter hoofball. You guys have no idea how frizzy my hair is. It's naturally curly, but because it's so bleached and so damaged, it does not curl anymore. It just poofs. So this kind of helps me um, really speed up my blow dry time. Number one, it protects against damage as well. And it also just gets my hair so nice and sleek and shiny and just amazing. So I really love this stuff. Um, and it honestly, I think does its job. I think it really does fight frizz. I think it makes your hair dry faster. It, it protects against heat. Um, it is kind of my end all be all hair product. I think I talked about this in a weekly favorites, but my Jergens Natural Glow, um, Firming Daily Moisturizer for Medium to Tan Skin Tones has really made its way back into my life lately. I like it because it truly does give a little bit of that, like, firming effect. Um, you know, it's not like suddenly, you know, you have muscles on muscles in your legs or something or, like, all your cellulite is gone. But, I mean, it really does just, like, tighten things up and make you feel really moisturized. Um, it gives you a little bit of color, which is really, really nice, and I think that it actually lasts really well, too. I do have one quick fashion favorite because these have saved my booty this month. Um, these are a pair of Forever 21 sunglasses. I think that you guys saw in my What's in My Pool slash Beach Bag video that I recently broke my favorite sunglasses. I do not buy sunglasses that cost more than $5 because I just lose them or break them within like a month. But I owned those Forever 21 like Ray-Ban lookalike sunglasses for literally three years and it was a world freaking record for me and I broke them finally. I really thought it was time for something new so I got these really cool kind of aviators. They have like a rose gold tint to them and they're sticking to my hair. I had never had a pair of aviators before but I really liked them. I liked the way that they looked and I loved that the sides had like um, the red, white, and blue -ness. Obviously very 4th of July appropriate and then they have anchors which makes my life because I love anything nautical. So I've really been liking these. Um, obviously they're really basic but I just felt like they needed some love. I feel like I really hashed a lot of my current music favorites in last month's favorites video, so I don't want to go over them again. Um, I can't think of anything new I would have been listening to. I recently started like blasting the crap out of Miley Cyrus's party in the USA, but that happens every single summer, so it's not really anything new. I will say that my favorite thing this month was definitely my audiobooks. You guys know last month uh, I told totally fell in love with audiobooks. I had never really been into them before. Um, and no, I'm not like sponsored by Audible or anything, but I did use like the 30 day free trial thing through another YouTuber. And I rented Chelsea Handler's Are You There Vodka? It's me, Chelsea. I have never laughed so hard. I loved Tina Fey's audiobook, but this one literally was the funniest thing I'd ever heard. I could not breathe. And it was one of those things where I listened to it again. I know that sounds like crazy, but, but I listened to it again and I realized I had missed so much because I'd just been laughing. So if you guys uh, like, I don't know, if you like audiobooks read by the author, I highly recommend that one. I think that Chelsea Handler is just hysterical. I love her so much. So I really enjoyed that this month. But really no music favorites. No, I, I feel really weird, but this was a weird month. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of been an off month. I feel like I'm finally back into my groove, um, but I've been jumping from A to B for so long, and I'm going to have to keep doing it, like, basically all summer. I'm going back to Georgia again this month. Um... And it's not bad, it's just, it kind of has me like out of my element, if that makes sense. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you did like it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know any of your favorites in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Happy 4th of July, and I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, and if you like this makeup, make sure to check out yesterday's video, which was a 4th of July themed hair tutorial, makeup tutorial, outfit not tutorial, just me showing you my clothes. Um, I'm really proud of it. I put a lot of work into it, so make sure you guys see it if you have not already. Now I'm really leaving. I love you. Bye.